Hello YouTube this is Platinum W with a how to um there's some videos I have to catch up with people I promised them certain videos and stuff but for now I'm basically just doing a how to on how to make parts and stuff for your transformers now my heart I had be I said I don't want, really want to share what how I made his guns and stuff I will share that in this video, I've decided. So, yeah. Um, you guys really don't know what you have until it's gone. Because the stuff I use, you guys wouldn't believe it. You'd probably think I'd, I'd go out and buy most of the stuff that I use. Most of the stuff that I use, I do not buy. And I actually find at home on old toys. Um... Things I don't use anymore. Things that are old. Things that um, are every that people use it for everyday day things, but I don't use for everyday things like markers, pen. Yeah, I do use every day. Markers, pens, wire, um, bionicle toy parts, all that stuff you can use for your transformers. Now, Sentinel Prime Shield. I made that. And guess what I made it with? Index cards. Yep. You guys might think it might be surprised and stuff. Yeah, it is pretty hard. So it's not something, some flimsy old piece. It's like lots of pieces stacked it up on the top of each other just to look. That's how a sealed book, except it had these Cybertronian symbols on it and lot and some damage and stuff. And it was, wasn't white because this is not painted yet and stuff so yeah and that's what I made with and guess what you guys are probably holding how can you hold that on the back is just same thing index cards but guess what I did I got a buy out an older version of a bionicle hand piece yep I got an older version of a bionicle hand piece I sanded down those little groove pieces to hold the ball joint because one already broke off so I just decided I would use it anyway so I sand down the other one I sand them down so it could fit to go in right because this shield is bent like Sentinels was it came out to a point like that and then I add the blue bionicle piece and these bionicle blue bionicle pieces yeah they fit into mech tech ports, so Sentinel Prime's hand has a hole all right through it. So this could stick right up in his hand so he could hold the shield. Same with the sword. You plug that in, and this one's so long it'll come out the other end. Then you attach this to the other end of the sword. And there, you have Sentinel Prime's sword. And you guys are, were like wondering, like, how am I going to make Sentinel Prime's sword and stuff and shield? You guys were wondering and stuff. You see, that's what it looks like when it's attached. You guys are wondering. No, here's a blue bionicle piece that I use for a holder. And you see, you can use like about anything to make parts for your customs. And you guys really wouldn't believe what you could use for stuff for your customs. You guys think it's all about going out and buying specific stuff when there are some movie accurate pieces looking that look like movie accurate on your toys and you won't even believe it on stuff you don't use anymore. Let me tell you what I use to make this gun. I use a glue stick, marker, two, two rubber, two plastic like rubber tires. And to um, a fat rim from a wheel and a skinny rim. And then I use these gold things as these little pieces at the end. And I shape them to come out so in the front it will look like that. And for the other gun, I use basically the same stuff. But since they both look different, I did not use the same exact stuff. This one I used a glue stick. Marker to be exact for the marker, it was a Crayola marker. Um, and m marker, um, glue stick cap. This was from a little 
light like thing, cap, rim, and tire, little rim disc, brake disc that goes behind it, and index card that I made black, because on this gun, on this gun for our hide, it looked like that, that black peak going back, so you can use lots of stuff for your customs. You guys really don't know what you could use. You don't always have to go out and buy stuff for your customs. For 80% of my customs, I don't go out and buy stuff. And that's, and I bet most of you guys are shocked and surprised. I'm telling you, to make movie accurate parts, you get parts off of other Transformers, from toys, from, from Bionicles to... Office appliances like markers, pens, um, paper clips, any of that. I'm telling you guys. And you guys might think, oh, that's cheesy and corny and stuff. It really isn't. If you paint it, fix it up to make it look like this, like how I did, it looks like a movie I can gun. You never know that I use that stuff. But if you don't paint it, leave it the same colors they are, don't fix it up. Yeah, people are going to know what it is, and they're going to say that's cheesy, corny. But you don't always have to have expensive stuff just to make your customs look good. And right now, from how good my customs look, I would say I'm a pro. Now, I know there's going to be people with, there's gonna be people who disagree with that, which also you can't really see my customs that good. Because the camera is usually like this shaking around but hopefully if I get a camcorder or a camera for Christmas I will do re-reviews on all of them all of them so you can see the detail on the true platinum W my true talent so um like I was saying I think I'm a pro now no I my definition of a pro transformer um customizer is Someone who's been customizing so long and has gotten so good at it that they are making customs look very movie accurate but still transformable. Now, if they're non transformable customs, it's kind of in the middle. But if it's non transformable but it's a leader class and they never made a leader class for that figure, like. Let's say someone made a non-transformable leader class Dark Moon Megatron. They haven't made one yet. So, uh, and y your other customs are good too. I would say you're a pro. But if you also make a leader class Dark Moon Megatron and a transformable too, then you're definitely a pro. Now, I'm not, s now, um, pro to me also does not mean you have to have expensive equipment like cameras and high quality stuff and stuff like that yes I want high quality cameras and stuff but you don't always have to use the best of the best to be a pro a pro transformer maker which I'm sure many of you will agree with me is someone who's gotten so good at customs and been doing them so long that they've got enough experience to know what's right what's wrong what looks like movie accurate and what doesn't and stuff like that and that's about it for my how to on how to make custom transformer parts oh yeah and for my Optimus Prime abs lots of you have been asking uh, what I did was in this middle black this black piece in the middle I sanded it down a whole lot I got my drill and sanded it down then paint it black right and then I cut square holes like on the sides of these I got three comb teeth glued them together paint them silver on each side because he had like three ab pieces on each side in the movie and that's about it guys bye that's it for my how to hope this has helped you guys bye